Hey guys, we're back with another Spooky Ghost Reaction video. This one's to Sir Spook's channel. We haven't seen him for a little while, so I thought I'd go back. Uh, if you wouldn't mind popping by his channel, dropping him a sub, we'd be very grateful for that. Um, the link is in the description. This video is called Seven Scary Videos That Will Frighten You. Let's hope they do. Uh, in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on this video, just to try and pull a few more views in, I'd be very grateful for that. Sub to the channel if you haven't already done so, and ring the bell for alerts of new videos going live. In the meantime, let's get the cans on, give this a watch, and let's hope there's some good spooky stuff that we haven't seen before. Here we go. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 7 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. Alright, with that said, let's begin. The first video we'll be looking at today comes to us from a TikTok user known as King Lavender and showcases a piece of home surveillance camera footage that will surely chill your bones. In the clip, King Lavender writes that he was staying in a hotel waiting for the power to turn back on after the devastating Hurricane Milton, which unfortunately caused it to go out. King Lavender says that he managed to capture something quite interesting overnight when the power eventually did turn back on. Take a look and see what happens. What the f are we watching? What's that? Did you see it? Some kind of a strange humanoid creature can be seen hiding behind the counter desk. Is it possible that this creepy entity was a result of Hurricane Milton? Did the powerful storm blow this creature inward? King Lavender says that he has absolutely no idea what in the world this thing could be, but it's obviously freaking him out quite a bit. Could this simply be a hoax? If you guys have any theories, be sure to put them in the comments below. What the f was that? It looked like a puppet, to be fair. And the fact it didn't come from behind the counter. And you didn't see it going behind the counter in the first place. Hmm, sus. <laughs> Creepy, but sus. What the f was that? OJ? If you've seen hundreds of Bigfoot videos throughout your time, you probably know that a lot of the alleged Bigfoot sighting videos typically show the hairy creature wandering around through a forest and that's it. However, this next video that's that we'll be taking a look one, at is quite different from the rest. It comes to us from Reddit by user known as Sellers Ideal. I think it was that video when I, I saw that when I was a kid, Christ, a long time ago, obviously. Um, I saw the stills of it in the magazine I used to collect about the paranormal and the unexplained and stuff. And it's sort of, that's what sort of sparked me interest in all this stuff. So it's nice to say that again, actually, after it's been some time since I've seen that. Fix 9257 and showcases a handheld piece of footage that was taken by a man who was simply enjoying a day out in the woods. As you can expect, though, this ordinary day takes an extremely strange turn when all of a sudden this happens. Potato camera. Oh, that's so bad. The footage in question seems to showcase a Sasquatch sitting down against a tree and trying to eat something. However, it isn't able to get much food eaten as it quickly realizes that it's being filmed which in turn causes the videographer to run away before eventually stopping the recording. It's an interesting video to watch because I don't think I've ever seen a Bigfoot sighting video in my life in which it actually shows it eating something. What do you guys think is going on here? Is this legitimate Bigfoot footage or is this... Is it me or does that look like a Hulk mask? 
something else entirely different happening here. Obviously, this could be a clever hoax simply showcasing some guy in a costume. But let me know what you guys think. It's definitely got Hulk vibes about it. Let us know what you guys think. This one's going to generate some good comments, I think. Over on the UFO subreddit, a user known as Alt Key Blade posted a highly fascinating piece of footage that has taken the community by storm with talk and speculation. The user writes, quote, I was originally looking up and laying on the ground that night on my back. I was messing with camera exposure to see if I could find the North Star in the nasty smog lit sky of LA. I noticed I barely see stars as per usual. Eventually, I got the exposure just right to see stars. Then out of the corner of my eyes, I saw something not normal sipping super fast out of frame. I held my record button and prayed I caught it flying by. It seriously was traveling so fast. This made my year." End quote. In an update video that was posted to TikTok by the videographer, he states that the clip was filmed on Halloween night at around 7 p.m which is when he saw a strange floating object in the sky which he describes as looking like a flying Dorito. <laughs> One commenter shared having seen an exact replica of this object. Quote, Our whole family saw one of these about 10 years ago. We were heading home south on State Route 23, leaving Columbus, Ohio, and one came low and slow right over the highway. This was probably between 10 and 12 a.m. I mean, it was probably no more than a couple hundred feet off ground. You could see the lights and like my kid said, the other night when it was brought up, it was like all the piping and interior components were showing along the bottom, like panels were missing." End quote. The description of the piping and it's quite an in-depth description to be fair. Interior components showing on the bottom aligns itself with countless other alleged UFO sightings. I have seen quite a few of them lately as well with other sort of tri triangle of lights like that. Of the past many decades. Could this be a specific kind of craft controlled by an alien race? Or is this something else entirely? What do you guys make of this interesting footage? Do you think that the uploader really captured authentic footage of a UFO or was it something else that isn't as fascinating? Let me know as always. Yeah, it's quite intriguing that one. It sort of falls in line with, um, there was a big, um, what's the word? Discussion, disclosure or whatever in America recently, just in the last week or two. There was like a, a big debate around these with lots of high up people sort of given evidence and stuff. Um, I need to watch the video of that, to be honest, but um, quite intriguing. Let us know what you guys think. Have you seen any UFOs? This video from TikTok user Maggie Potamus seems to start off fairly simple <laughs> as we see Maggie getting ready to do a photo shoot in the woods in the Netherlands with her adorable pet dog. The two seem like they're all happy and eager to get started, but that all changes within a few moments. You wanna make the best dirty goats? You wanna make the best dirty goats? Whoa. What the hell? That'd make you stop and think, wouldn't it? It's enhanced, so maybe not that loud in in real life. Well, oh that's pretty... Well, even the dog's looking, to be fair. Out of nowhere, an extremely frightening and shockingly loud That's an awful noise though, isn't it, to be fair? Loud screaming noise can be heard, 
coming from somewhere within the forest. Maggie and her dog can be seen looking around with anxious expressions on their faces and for good reason. Some people in the comments think that this might just be a fox screaming, but the scream seems to be far too deep pitched to be that of a fox. To myself and other commenters, this sounds like something else, perhaps a man screaming in the forest. Is this someone in pain and in need of help? Unfortunately, we will never know. It might not even be a man after all. It could be some sort of otherworldly being for all we know. One thing's for sure, Maggie is definitely going to be on edge every single time she takes her dog for a walk for the foreseeable future. Yeah, that would worry her if you heard something like that, like while they were just out and about, but hard to tell because it said it was in a hand so we don't know how loud it actually was but it obviously got the retention didn't sound too pleasant whether it was a cry for help or uh try and get people to go and see what it was for other reasons i don't know but it would be quite dark and sinister but i don't know what you guys think Over on TikTok, a woman named Daviela Munoz posted a video that shows a toy shelf inside of a child's bedroom. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary at first as Daviela pans the camera around and showcases all of the different toys that the room holds. While a lot of the toys look cute and fun to play with for a child, there is one toy in particular that, as you'll see in just a moment, stands out like a sore thumb and not in a good way. Watch this. For some strange and unsettling reason, this toy right here seems to be moving all on its own. Amazingly, Daviella sounds more amused than frightened in the video, something that a lot of us would not be, especially in the heat of the moment. In this follow-up video posted by Daviella, we don't see any additional movement from the toy, but she gives us a good look at the shelf in which the toy was on just to further prove that she was not pulling any sort of strings and that there was absolutely no trickery involved. Whoever the kid is that these toys belong to might just have a phobia of dolls from here on out. What the fuck was this? That's mad. The way they were laughing and stuff about it as well though, you think they'd be straight up there and having a look. Weird. That freaked me out. In huh? February of 20 Considering Ellen has got a shelf full of bloody teddy bears up there as well. To 21, a man named Joshua Dean posted a video to his TikTok account that has taken the internet by frenzy, with people trying to figure out what exactly happened in the eerie clip. The video in question showcases home security camera footage inside Joshua's house. This particular camera is positioned to be in his young daughter's room to monitor her activity during the night. For the first few seconds of the clip, the daughter can be seen sleeping safely and soundly, but that all changes rather quickly. Have a look and see for yourself. Is that one of the toys gone? The telly. The fuck? 
out of nowhere, the young girl can be seen getting pulled under the bed by an unseen force. According to Joshua, he says that his wife believes that their daughter was perhaps simply crawling, but Joshua adamantly disagrees with her, stating that she was clearly being pulled by something. Do you agree with Joshua or do you agree with his wife? There's clearly something odd going on here. If she It is freaky, but... Pulled? I don't know. Obviously, it's hard to tell with the bed in the way I like, but, um... Strange. Nonetheless. She was being pulled by an unseen force. What could it have possibly wanted with her? Let's hope that something like this never happens to her again. This footage also shows... I mean, the table and chair does sort of seem to move as if she's, like, kicking against them. Which is not like lashing out, whether she's pushing herself or what, I don't know, maybe she's lost some under the bed and she wants to try and get it because she seems to be looking at the bottom end as well. But still quite creepy like. Exactly why it's important to have security cameras set up. That's weird. Kids, huh? On June 5th, 2010, a YouTuber by the name of LeBron Who422 posted a video to his account in which he and his friends were simply hanging out inside of the uploader's basement for the last night before moving. The group of friends probably thought that they were going to have an extremely fun night filled with food, partying, games and conversation. But unfortunately for them, like it turned into a living nightmare. In the video, we watched the friends talking with one another when one of the guys, Kyle, goes to look inside of a room. The uploader asks Kyle what he's doing in the room, at which point he responds by saying that he thought he saw a mouse in the room and was simply going to investigate. Take a look and see what happens. You can get over it. I know. I'm just have to... Stacco, what are you doing over there? Dude, I think I found a mouse in here somewhere. <laughs> are you serious? Dude, Dude. it's dark. I don't know where it's... I I can't find Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Dude, I'm not standing Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. I'm not standing with the mouse. I'll do it. I can't see anything. Was that someone stood behind him? Or was it just a... Did you get it? I can't see it. If you look just carefully enough, you should be able to make out what appears to be some sort of creepy creature lurking right behind Kyle in the door frame. Something that nobody in the group noticed until they were situated in the new house. I can't even begin to imagine just how terrifying it would be to review a piece of footage I recorded only to find out there was something otherworldly in it. Let's hope that this creature didn't follow these guys out of the house. And that was 7 scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. Please, uh... Yeah, that bit freaky that last one, but could well just be a setup. Um, going looking for a mouse in the dark, that's not entirely believable, but I mean, the did they seem legit? Hmm, I don't know. There is no way these guys think. There was some fucked up shit in their mind. There was lots of weird stuff. That, that first one. It had to be blatantly a puppet like. But I don't know. Let us know what you guys think. As I said at the beginning, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on the video, pulling some views, sub and ring the bell. And we can have a discussion about this in the comments. Let us know what you think. And I'll be back with another one. Thanks for watching, guys.